So here is a very important image. Questo è importante, questa immagine. Um, which again might seem che potrebbe sembrare one might think, o potrebbe far uh, pensare <coughs> that the theme is ruin, che il tema sia delle rovine rather than splendor. piuttosto che splendore. <coughs> But of course it's a very, it's a very beautiful farmhouse or a barn. C'è una vecchia fattoria. Uh, this was an earth, after an earthquake. Dopo il terremoto. I'm not sure where, where it was, but it was Non so esattamente il luogo, ma So, it maybe it's an image of, of Italy that might shock you. Forse I don't, I don't know. Vi, vi non non so. um, it's, it's, I'm, I'm quite shocked by them actually looking at them just now. <laughs> And, you know, I know the pictures, seeing them like this is quite shocking. Pensa che potrebbero avere questo effetto. Um, I mean, what does anyone think? Che pensate? I mean, I, I think, I, I think one, I think one might imagine that he, he might show a more positive. Potrebbe, potreste pensare che forse poteva rappresentare cose più po positive, dare un aspetto più positivo dell'Italia. Yes, um, I, I mean, I know all of Guido's work, and it's not all like this. Dici, io conosco it's tutta l'opera di Guido, ovviamente non è tutto qui, non è tutto così. Yeah, um, it's not all like this. Um, and so, you know, always a book comes down to the, the pictures you include in it. Um, e ovviamente il libro si riduce alle foto che sono state selezionate. Uh, she, say, she thinks uh, the tone, uh, the soft notes, uh, uh, make us think more of uh, an Eastern country, Eastern Europe, uh, very subdued, very... Yes, yeah. A bit sad, um, let's say. Un po' triste, no? It's not, it's not quite as bad as that when you actually see the book. Sì, però um, nel libro non è esattamente così, però... But I mean, like... Uh, she expected, for example, uh, uh, more vivid, co vibrant colors. Yes. I, uh, the Italy, uh, Italy. I think when you actually see it, it is, it is slightly better than my bad, there's a my bad photograph. Uh, no, no, but comunque c'è la resa. Apart from the color, also the type of uh, image, the type of uh, representation. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. sì, d'accordo. Uh, she's asking if she's curious, for example, uh, why he chose those subjects to photograph the, those people. Chi sono? Who uh, are they Italian, the people who are in the photographs, uh, the, the portraits? Oh, yes, yes. Sì, sono italiani. Yeah. But I mean, as far as I know, uh, Guido's only photographed in Italy. Lui è fotografato in Italia. Comunque, yeah. it, makes her, it makes her think of, uh, you know, curious about the people. You makes... She, she, Uh, looking at the picture, she thinks uh, she's curious about uh, knowing who these people are. Or yes, I mean, I th I think they are generally um, just ordinary people. Ordinary I think they're gente comunque normale, comune. Yeah. Um, so it's very, 
it's very much a book about, yeah, tip, typical Italy, but is it? I don't know. Uh, Uh, in, in his opinion, he chose a particular aspect, uh, not very, very oh, yes. common, very very specific, narrow. very narrow. Yes, yes, yes. Con concentrated on a particular aspect which could be better or worse. Right. Appare. One of the things they noticed. The matching uh, um, electric cables and uh, boxes uh, against nature, uh, the contraposition, the contrast between nature and yeah, artificial yeah, things, yeah, uh, yeah. man made things, uh, electricity, poles, and things. Yes. Uh, he's, um, he cannot say, state anything, he, he asks himself questions. The, the, photo, the photographs suggest more questions than answers, provoke. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, he does have more of Renaissance architecture, things like that, which I would, I would have personally like to see two or three more about the glories of Italian culture. Avrebbe voluto vedere qualcosa del passato glorioso dell'Italia. Um, and three or four pictures like that would make the book very different. Avrebbero dato un aspetto diverso. Yeah. Uh, in the same book, you mean? Yes, if, if, if he's taken he's taken pictures of in Rome, for instance. Per esempio, um, delle foto prese a Roma. I mean, they're Guido pictures. I mean, they're not, you know, it's not... <laughs> non è sempre, ovviamente, l'aspetto uh, ufficiale, um, ma lo stile di Guido. But a few more like that of... Alcune di quelle foto... Classical architecture. O di architettura classica. Which have been here in the center, here in, you know, great things. Anche um, qui ha visto delle belle cose. Uh, it would have made a very different book. Avrebbe fatto un libro diverso. But it's, it's, it's very, very much a political statement. È un'affermazione politica. Yeah. Una scelta. So, and the thing about books is it doesn't take um, out of, I don't know, 60 pictures, se if you salta, take five, se ne cambi cinque, you can have a very different book. Puoi avere un libro yeah. del tutto diverso. In his opinion, the title does not represent. <laughs> he says it's a lie. It uh, does not represent Italy. Yeah. These images uh, suggest depressions, uh, are, yes. not, uh, are not positive to him. Yeah. <laughs> he says reality is even worse. <laughs> well. He says but say more about Guido in Italy, of course. Yeah. Who gave the title? Uh, I don't know. I d um, Guido chose the title? I, I guess between two of them. Uh, yeah. Where, where were they taken? All over. Mainly Emilia Romana. No, but, but when? Oh, uh, when? Oh, from the 70s, right. Dagli anni 70. Yeah, right. So. Uh, every map, uh, another contribution. All maps are partial. It Can, cannot be all encompassing. Is it true? No, no. It, it can't be all encompassing. I mean, I think five different pic five pictures replaced there could make a very different book. Se avesse messo tipo cinque foto di quel tipo che diceva lui, avrebbe dato un altro tipo di respiro al libro. I, I, I agree with you. È, è d'accordo con lei? Sì, sì, assolutamente. Non comprerò mai un libro del genere. He wouldn't buy a book like this, a photo no. book, like no. this. No. Anche il colore è abbastanza... The colors are subdued. Yeah, that really is my bad. They're not quite. 
They are subdued, but not quite as bad. Would you have put five different pictures in this collection? Yes, I would have, yes. Yeah. He would have put my map of Italy oh, in the well, title. What? Because it represents uh, his point of view, I mean. Of course, yes. Si, si, gliela da, d'accordo. No, I, 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 yeah, I, there, are, there are pictures of Guido's I think I would put in rather. And it would have, it would have been a, more on the splendor side than the ruined side. I think it's not, yeah. Uh, he's, he's taken some good ones in, inside theatres. There's a question there. Right. A consideration on Since uh, he's not a very politically committed uh, photographer, she thinks. Uh, the new map could mean also a new path, a new yes. uh, reflection, a new consideration. I'm showing you uh, what I see, but other people don't see or don't want to see. Partly, yes, yes. I mean, he's not, he's not um, a political photographer in the sense that he's, he's going to go out and uh, in, in a kind of activist sense. Dice non è un politico nel senso attivo che prenderebbe parte a qualche She means politically in the sense that you are uh, integrated, you are concerned with the, uh, what is around you, the situation of your yes, society. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. As we say with a small p, not a big one. Con la piccola, p minuscola, non la p minuscola. Sì, no, ma lui l'ha detto. No, he's talking about the car. Ha già detto che le foto un po' della responsabilità. No, no, non foto. Eh, sì, è diverso. Però Guido Guidi in Italia non è corrotto. Guido Guidi is not uh, appreciated in Italy. He says, it's not, not uh, everybody likes him. No, no. Not that everybody loves him or likes him. You saw the photographs. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, he's, a, he's what, we, what we call a tough photographer. And yeah, he suggests that it's, uh, his photos should be looked at like a painting. Yeah. Yes. The autocorrects, what is not, uh, what is has been cut off, uh, what is uh, being yeah. 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 Everything is intentional, even the cut legs of the table. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. He's just done a book. Uh, he says it is a way to provoke a uh, reaction from the the watcher. Yeah, so, good. Good. Yeah. When the, our theatre, you know, Italy, our main theatre was destroyed by the fire, when it was restored, uh, it was Local photographs were uh, involved with the Guido Guidi in taking pictures of the restoration works. Uh, the 
didn't accept, uh, the publisher didn't accept the Widow Willis pictures, but he accepted the other photographer's pictures. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's uh, subdued, some ruins, some doors that were not... Yeah. Uh, they were shown in uh, an exhibition uh, called the Desert Inn. And so the pictures, uh, with or with this picture, were, were shown there in this exhibition. But they were not included in the uh, official publication. Uh, Prego? Quindi, cosa gli devo? Sì, ma erano Sì, the pictures that she's talking about, they were about this theater, but they were called, the, the exhibition was called the Desert Inn. Yeah. Okay. Sì. Looking at the pictures, some typical aspects of Italy do not come out. On the other hand, some other aspects. che però per te sono rappresentativi dell'Italia. Rappresentativi uh, anche, uh, anche dalle perspettive, anche da cosa scegliere di far vedere. So, the, the aspect, aspect, uh, the aspects that they he represents, uh, they cannot be, uh, you know, stereotypes of Italy or common, common places or stereotypes of Italy, typical imagery of Italy, but some minor aspects which are still representative yes. of our He's done, He's just published a new book. Appena pubblicato un altro libro. Uh, called um, Cinque Paesaggi. Cinque Paesaggi. Paesaggi. And they are more beautiful pictures. Ci sono delle foto più belle. Um, it, so it might be uh, John's fault, the editor's fault. So not Può essere la, questo libro così che lascia un po' perplessi potrebbe essere causato dovuto alle scelte editoriali, la selezione no. che è stata fatta. Uh, the, the, the aspect of ruin and splendor. a ruined door or a, you know, something which is still uh, in decay, but it's still maybe a trace of the past or a splendor, so there will be a subtle sign of uh, yes. splendor in this kind of ruins, which are really a very specific aspect of reality, Italian yes. reality, but still, we as Italian could read the image also in this sense. Yes, but it, um, yes, we've made five different pictures. Um, he's, he's done pictures, he's done some in Rome and, and in Venice. Uh, just okay. little, little corners of Venice where, where you have the, 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 the more picturesque room. Yeah. Um, and that would make a very different book. Um, i mean, calling a book a new map, map of Italy uh, is, is you are know, what, what, what we say a hostage to fortune. A uh, hostage to fortune. A right? hostage to fortune. What is the meaning? Uh, everyone is assuming that you're talking about Italy in a big way, and in fact, maybe you're not. Tutti si aspettano che sia una mappa appunto dell'Italia, e invece non lo è. 
Yeah. So it's a, a challenge, a kind of. Uh, yeah, it's a, well, it challenge the reader. Yeah. So in our opinion, he succeeds in this. He's he succeeds in this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yes, I mean. But I mean, collectors aren't going to buy. <laughs> he shows uh, interest in uh, focusing on aspects that other, photog other photographers would uh, normally leave out. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he Uh, in this opinion, this, uh, this picture shows uh, that they are an example of our decadence and uh, show our, uh, um, how can I say, our rich, our uh, wealth, our bella figura is uh -huh. maybe only uh, a facade, is not real. I think that's an aspect of it, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I think... So he is referring to the second picture of the, the second picture really does say yes, it really does uh, uh, um, state the theme of the book. Uh, so he agrees that uh, some of our certainties or apparent uh, welfare is just uh, fake or apparent. Not really. As it is everywhere. The moon is everywhere, but then of course, um, I mean, without without doing a book for the Italian tourist board, um, there are very different books to be made about it. Yes, I mean, I I could make pictures here in Bar. I mean, I'm. Just driving to the hotel, I mean, I'd wanted to make pictures. Um, they wouldn't, they would be about very, some very interesting architecture, modern, together with old. Um, they wouldn't be as, they wouldn't be as stark as Guido's, because I don't make I can't, I can't do Bruta. No, no photographer can do Bruta in the way that Guido can. I mean, I will show you a, a book by one of his students. And, and he can do the Bella aspect of the paysage, but he can't do the Bruta in quite the same way. Uh. I, I said this to him, I said, you, you know, you, you just can't do the brutal like the video. <laughs> <laughs> right, all right, well, uh, very quickly, can we have a bit of technical help? And a typical aspect of Italian country life. È specifico e aspetti dell'Italia, della country life, la vita di campagna. And it's also, it's also a diary, it's also an homage, è un omaggio, un tribute, to um, Francesco's father. Al padre di Francesco Neri. Um, and Francesco lives not very far from Guido in Emilia Romana. Sempre in Emilia Romana. Um, near Imola, near, near the Ferrari. In Ferrara. Um, but his father was a doctor who studied in Bologna. Bologna. And the book is about, it's about his father suo padre. and it's about hunting. Hunting, caccia. Oh. <laughs> Do that one, eh? Do the cross.
So this is a very, very typical contemporary photo book where it's personal documentary. È una, molto moderno questo aspetto che è molto personale, una specie di documentario personale. So it's a book about hunting in Italy. Caccia in Italia. Caccia dove potrebbe avvenire dovunque. And about his father. E su suo padre. <laughs> yeah. Oh, try to cross up there. You see the cross? And it's a landscape. E anche paesaggi. Quindi caccia, ricordo del padre e omaggio al padre e paesaggi. It's a photograph of a painting, I think. Uh, that's it. And I was wondering. Sono foto di quadri o di immagini converse. So this is a very, you can see he's a pupil of Guido using the uh, edge, that this line down, down the edge is very important on the left. La stessa tecnica di Guido, Guidi per i bordi delle foto. So that was his father at a University. class reunion in Bologna. Uh -huh. una riunione dei compagni di Università a Bologna. Oh, these were all taken with a very large camera where you did ah, a sì. black... Ah, yes, these were taken with those apparatus very large, where you put the black hood on it. The pan, to cover it.
It always comes up when the dogs are on. That's it. Um, a very different aspect of Italy. I did say to Francesco that he can, he can do the bella, but he can't do the bruta. Right. Power for time. Uh, just get the menu up again, please. Oh, you know, maybe I should have left this in. That's what it's doing. Uh, Okay, now here is a book by John Gus, um, who edited Guido's book, che ha fatto la <coughs> um, pubblicato il libro di Guido, and designed Guido's book, but um, makes his own photo book. Anche lui fa i suoi <laughs> foto libri. And this is a this comes from a project that um, quite a few of us are trying. And it's, if anyone wants to try it, it's, it's a very good idea. È un progetto che alcuni di loro stanno provando. Qual è questo idea? John photographed his neighborhood. Il suo, il suo quarter, quartiere. Quartier, um, for a year. Ha fotografato il quartiere per un anno. Um, he had a new digital camera. And on his walks each day, he just took photographs. Ogni giorno ha fatto fotografie. So again, it's looking at what you see every day. E guardare, eh, guardato ciò che si vede ogni giorno. Uh, what's very typical. But ciò che è tipico. Um, and kind of keeping a diary. È una specie di, già, di diario fotografico. Um, but also taking in a social aspect. Ma ovviamente ci inserisce elementi sociali. Right. Now the interesting thing about John's neighborhood. La quartiere di John è interessante. Uh, he lives in Washington D.C. Vive a Washington D.C. 
And he lives in a quarter of Washington DC. In un area di Washington. Uh, which has embassies. Eh, il quartiere delle ambasciate. And homes. Case residenze di prestigio. Of top politicians. Di importanti uomini politici. Um, in particular, just around the corner from Proprio, him. Proprio uh, dietro l'angolo dove abita lui. Uh, Donald Rumsfeld. Rumsfeld. The American Sec uh, Secretary, Secretary of State. Mm. State. Mm. State. Or Defense Secretary. Um, on the George Bush. The defense of the George Bush, Rumsfeld, vive lì. And interestingly, yeah. um, I've, I've been in the neighborhood. Um, Sono stato anch'io a visitare il quartiere, l'area. The Syrian embassy's back garden. I, I, I giardini, come si può dire, posteriori, la, la parte di dietro dei giardini. Dei uh, looks onto the back garden of Rumsfeld. Ah, guarda, no, <laughs> guarda il giardino posteriore di Rumsfeld. So the Americans, the Americans, the French, the British, the Chinese, the Italians, Italian, they're all there sono tutti in this neighborhood in questo, in questa zona. and of course they're all spying on each other. And of course they're all spying on each other. And of course they're all spying on each other. And of course they're all spying on each other. And of course they're all spying on each So this is a book about beautiful houses, Bellissime case, un bel quartiere, Beh. Uh, where decisions are made, dove si prendono importanti decisioni, uh, that affect all of us. Che ci influenzano, che ci riguardano. So it's a kind of, um, it's a political book with a very piccolo, piccolo P on the political. È politico nel quale è P minuscola, questo libro. So in design, um, one of the things John does Quando, uh, lui prepara la... sometimes picks up colors from the, the photographs eh, in the design. When he posts the book, he uses the the colors that So this really is about walking around. Quindi lui sta solo passeggiando e guardandosi intorno. Just looking at what you see every day. Cose di tutti i giorni. And photographing.
So you can see why Guido and John are photographic friends. E ora capite perché c'è affinità tra i due. Sono amici foto photographic friends. But John's pictures are not quite so brutal either. Non sono così brutti. So as the book progresses, he introduces little details of surveillance cameras, um, symbols of wealth. And things like this, and this, this might be a bullet hole. It's not, but it might be. This is a very bad photo of a project, and it's not a bullet hole. That's where John himself lives, that's his apartment block where he lives. Uh, this is John's apartment block, he lives in this apartment block. He, uh, he's a photographer, so he's not very rich. Uh, but he has a controlled rent. So, a cheap rent, controlled rent, in a very high rent area. In a zone, in which the affitti stellari. Lucky boy. To be in such a neighborhood. I mean, this book is full of really wonderful pictures. Uh, or ordinary things again, but... Foto, foto che lui trova molto belle, però di oggetti banali, ordinari, quotidiani. But they're not ordinary pictures. <laughs> Ma non sono foto ordinarie. I mean, that is very, very simple, yet 
Great picture. Sì, semplice e bella nella sua semplicità. And right near the end of the book is verso la fine del libro it's a Halloween, Halloween theme, cioè skeleton. La, ci sono i soggetti but it also sort of says yeah the kind of decisions that the people behind those doors make very often lead to that oppure ironicamente la gente dice che le decisioni che prendono dietro quelle imponenti mura portano la gente a quella condizione <coughs> Your, you said something. I just need to get this onto the stick. Okay, right, that's it. Uh. I can pop that onto the other one, please. Okay, well, just finish off, I'll show you this book. Per finire vi presento questo libro. And tomorrow e domani I will show you um, what's in volume 3 nel volume terzo of the photo book history. Del photo book history, della storia della dei fotografi. Dice perché non fai ha suggerito And di fare la propria vicina di più area di residenza. I always take horizontal pictures. Prenderò foto orizzontale. So he said one rule only take vertical. Invece picture. una regola solo allora lui solo orizzontali invece per lui solo verticali. So I had to um, I had to learn how to make vertical pictures ha dovuto adattarsi alla verticalità. Mario è Mario Saghesi. Mario Saghesi. And his mother comes from Puglia. And, oh no, his mother comes from Napoli. La madre è di Napoli. E il padre è di Pugliese. Um, and they emigrated to England a long time ago. Sono emigrati in Inghilterra tanti anni fa. Um, and so Mario runs a very well known 
very small but very well known cafe cafe italiano dove where Italian cafe eh, a questo cafe italiano where in London in sorry, London, in London. Yeah, in London. An, area, an area called Kentish Town Kentish which, Town che unlike um, John's neighborhood is mixed è una zona mista um, it has some very nice as you'll see Victorian houses sono delle belle case vittoriane um, and we have bankers ci sono dei banchieri uh, avvocati in some of the streets in alcune di queste um, strade we now have a French lycée which has moved in poi c'è una scuola francese un liceo francese and so we have lots of French people ci sono moving into the neighborhood fleeing eh. Mr. Holland's tax <laughs> molti francesi che si fuggono alle tasse di Monsieur Hollande per venire lì e seguire i figli al liceo ci sono anche dei rifugiati ci sono anche dei drug dealers è una zona interessante So I begin and end with Mario's because uh, we have we have breakfast there every more every morning we go to Mario's. Ogni mattina andiamo da Mario a fare colazione, perciò um, inizio con Mario. And I took the pictures over a year just walking down the walk. Anch'io ho fatto foto per un anno camminando ogni giorno passeggiando. So it is about how the area is changing is mixed. E mostro anche come l'area la zona sta cambiando, come la zona si sta mescolando. And that stolen um ho rubato <laughs> uh, John's uh, color things. Ah, le um, mappe colorate di John, il suo amico. But in order to make um I mean it's it's it, it's about, you know, recording your life and, and making pictures, making good pictures. Um and then I've added these quotations from people in you know, I find them on the internet or from the newspaper. E aggiunto queste frasi, queste uh, citazioni che ho trovato sui newspaper, su internet which talk about the changing social character che sta parlando che parlano del cambiamento sociale del <coughs> cambiamento sociale and you wouldn't believe it was london because i only take take pictures when it's sunny Ah, dice, non ci crederesti che è Londra perché faccio solo le foto quando c'è il sole. Was, part, was it part of the project to take pictures in the sun? So with the um, French moving in and bankers, uh, the area is very on, on the rise, so Quindi, these state agents are Ci sono le agenzie immobiliari che ovviamente fanno soldi perché i francesi stanno arrivando molti francesi. But then we have things like this. I, I like this, this sign that says Heroes never die, they just reload. <laughs> Mi piace quella scritta di Rambo. Gli eroi non muoiono mai, they reload. But there is the other side to things. And putting a putting a book together, you know, you're you're choosing putting some pictures together because of color or things like that or okay. things in the picture. Si scelgono foto per i colori, per gli abbinamenti. Two numbers. In questo caso il numero. So 
And that's, that's now become uh, a French school there, and this is... Di dietro è diventata una scuola francese. So this is the house next to ours, from... La casa accanto a loro. So this is our, this is the street we live in, um, which does have nice Italian details, as you can see. So and it said, uh, our street is called Willis Road. Um, this says, this area used to be a mixture of working class. Sta spiegando che appunto questa zona era un misto di gente di operai e di lower middle class, bassa borghesia. Uh, now when anyone buys a house, e ora chiunque compri una casa in Willis Road, in Willis Road people ask what do they do? la gente a chiunque viene a comprare una casa chiede che cosa fai and the is a or e a probabilmente la risposta è avvocato o bancario This is our mayor, the famous mayor ah. of London, who's scratching his head. Per l'insindaco di Londra che è famoso perché si gratta sempre la testa. Uh, this is the end of the book and it's back to Mario's and these are things he said. So and this one said, uh, that one in the middle there says Jerry, you know, you know something. Uh, you're one of the loudest people to come into the cafe. <laughs> Uh, you're even louder than Mary, who's a very loud person. Se gridi ancora di più di Mary, che di per sé grida abbastanza. Finish. Vi consiglio di fotografare il vostro quartiere per sei mesi, un anno. You get great pictures. Otterrete delle bellissime foto. You will find yourself walking down the street saying, Guarderete, oh, I photographed that before. Uh, passerete davanti a un posto e direte l'ho già, già fotografato. But you will always find something new. Ma troverete sempre qualcosa di diverso. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anyone have um, anything else to say? Yes, questions. <coughs> Another, uh, a question which doesn't refer to the lecture. No, <laughs> this 
uh, she would like to ask you, what do you think about post uh, processing after taking a picture? But I think it's such a large subject <laughs> to cover now at the end of the section. Um, well, I, I, I'll just quote and Mr. Gossage again. Um, because when I was doing this, you know, doing my neighborhood, I was emailing and saying, should I do this, should I do that? And he said, do what you like, do anything you like. It's all fiction. Un'altra domanda? Aspetta. Perché il lavoro è andato così tanto? Non ci sono delle fotografie anche delle persone? E nel suo album, no? In your book, eh, of uh, such a long lapse of time, you didn't introduce people, just the places and uh, yes. the forms. Yes. Only one, one picture of a girl. A photo with, with a red and a dress. Solo quella ragazza secca di spalle, sì. This is my stalker picture. <laughs> um, I only, the camera was auto focus. I'd never had an auto focus camera non before. Non esatto la macchina. So I could chase after people and get them in focus, and so I did. Quindi gli avessi visto che era a fuoco manualmente per vela. Questa l'ha fatta dopo. But was it a choice not to include? Yeah, I mean, I'm planning to do people as well. I'm planning to do um, a book about street fashion. Vuole fare moda di strada. Um, and I started when we were in Sapiano in Rimini. Quando eravamo lì. Um, I, I asked some people in the square, ta young tattooed girls, I got some tattoos and if I could photograph them, just, uh, just as an you know, exercise. Yeah, but they, I, agreed. I, I, they agreed. Oh yeah, but they I plan I plan to make uh, pictures like yeah they yeah plan to make pictures of people uh, next the next book. The next one.